the title of this video is not clickbait. Jared Kelnick, statistically, is the best lefty hitter against left-handed pitching so far this year in Major League Baseball. And if someone from 2023 jumped in a time machine, flew back to 2022 and told you this, you would have laughed in their face. This offseason, the Seattle Mariners went out and signed AJ Pollock to a one-year deal. Why? Because Jared Kelnick in his first two years of big league experience couldn't hit lefties. And to be frank, he couldn't hit righties either. It seemed as though he couldn't recognize and certainly couldn't touch those breaking pitches on the outside corner from lefties and the changeups down and away from righties. AJ Pollock was a notorious lefty killer during his time with the Dodgers and the White Sox. Last year with the White Sox, he batted 286 with a 935 OPS against lefties. Really didn't do too hot against righties, but he wasn't coming to Seattle to bat against righties. Pollock would be there as essentially the training wheels for Jared Kelnick, as of course he would get another shot in 2023, as this might have been his final year to solidify a spot in the Mariners lineup. His first two years were pretty brutal, as in 2021 he batted 181 with a 265 on base percentage, a 350 slugging, which is a 615 OPS, and in 2022, in 54 games, he batted 141 with a 221 on base percentage, a 313 slug, which is a 534 OPS. And specifically against lefties, in 2021, he batted 168 and in 2022, just 130. He was demoted to AAA Tacoma a few times over those couple years, and he was doing everything he could to try to figure it out. And it seemed like every other week, he was trying some sort of new batting stance. You know, I think that anytime something's not working, you got to try to find something that you can't do the same thing over and over again. So, like, by default, you want to change when it's not working. Um, and, you know, just because it didn't work out, you could say that I'm, that's the reason why it didn't work out is because I was making all these changes, but I disagree with that. Um, but for me, it was I was just trying to find something that was going to work and trying to, you know, find something that was going to get me into a rhythm. And, you know, unfortunately, I couldn't do it consistently. And But now I feel like I'm in a great spot. This offseason, Jared Kelnick didn't go back to his family's training facility in Wisconsin, but he stayed in Southern California and met up with an unnamed hitting coach, which we all know is Barry Bonds. There's a long one to right field. Forget about it. And now Jared Kelnick is looking a lot more like Jerry Bonds. Through 45 games so far this year, he's batting 297 with 10 home runs, 25 RBIs, and 12 doubles. He's slashing 297 with a 350 on base percentage of 564 slugging, which is a 914 OPS. And the most wild part of this is how good he's doing against lefties. Against lefties, he has a 349 batting average, a 378 on base percentage, a 721 slugging, which is a 1.099 OPS. And against righties, he's got a 279, a 341, a 508, and an 849. And in yesterday's game against Oakland, Jared Kelnick hit his fourth home run of the season against a left-handed pitcher, and as we just saw, is batting 349 against lefties. And Kelnick's 1.099 OPS against lefties as a left-handed hitter leads the majors among lefties with at least 20 plate appearances against left-handed pitching. He ranks ahead of Jordan Alvarez and Anthony Rizzo. And apparently, Kelnick ranks second in Mariners history, trailing only Ken Griffey Jr.'s 1996 season. And Kelnick became one of three batters in the majors this year to hit multiple 450-foot plus home runs, joining Ronald Acuna Jr. and Mitch Haniger. Shout out Mitch. And his home run yesterday traveled 455 feet, which was the farthest hit ball at T-Mobile Park this season, beating out Julio Rodriguez's 454-foot blast on May 7th versus Houston, which was Julio's career-long home run. And actually, this home run was the third longest at T-Mobile Park by a left-handed hitter since the beginning of the StatCast era in 2015. Only Shohei Otani and Nomar Mazzara had hit farther home runs. Kelnick has now hit safely in five consecutive games and homered in back-to-back -back games. If he were to homer in tonight's game, Kelnick would become the first player in the majors this season with three separate streaks of homering in three or more consecutive games. And Kelnick's 154 weighted runs created plus ranks fifth among American League outfielders behind Aaron Judge, Jordan, Randy Rosarina, and Brent Rooker. 
He currently leads the Mariners in extra base hits, batting average, slugging percentage, OPS, and total bases. And Jared is the fastest Mariners player aged 23 or younger to homer 10 times in a season since Alex Rodriguez in 1999. The numbers are fantastic, but the most important part is how he has adjusted his approach at the plate this year. He's hitting the breaking balls down and away from lefties, and those changeups and breaking balls in the outer third of the plate against righties. And with how bad this Mariners offense has been so far this year, they're 26th in OPS, third in strikeouts. Jared has provided a breath of fresh air that really, I don't know if anyone saw coming. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Jared's season so far and who's your standout on this team. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe for more baseball content throughout the season. And we'll see you next time. All right, guys, goodbye zone, and don't forget it. Stop it.